millions of years ago, Earth's continents sat together as a single supercontinent, Pangaea. Animals of the time could travel across landscapes which are now separated by massive oceans. But when Pangaea broke apart about 200 million years ago, this level of animal mixing came to a halt. It just so happened that the ancestor of today's polar bears ended up in the continental slices that became Europe, Asia, and North America. These ancestors gave rise to North American brown bears 1.4 million years ago, well after Pangaea broke apart. It wasn't for another 1 million years that an albino version of the brown bear evolved and began to thrive in the Arctic, making the polar bear a relatively recently evolved animal in Earth's long history. Polar bears are large, white bears that like cold climates, fatty meals, and long days of hunting. No matter how adorable polar bears look, these animals are not cuddly. In fact, polar bears are ferocious hunters, and they are the biggest carnivores among land animals. For bears, height is usually measured at the shoulder when the animal is on all fours, according to Polar Bear International. On average, polar bears on all fours are 3.5 to 5 feet or 1 to 1.5 meters tall. But when standing on their hind legs, an adult polar bear may reach more than 10 feet or 3 meters. Lengthwise, they are 7.2 to 8 feet or 2.2 to 2.5 meters from head to rump. An adult male polar bear weighs around 775 to 1200 pounds or 351 to 544 kilograms. The largest polar bear recorded weighed 2,209 pounds or 1,000 kilograms according to Polar Bear International. Females weigh half as much as their male counterparts at only 330 to 650 pounds or 50 to 295 kilograms. Polar bears appear to be white, but their hair is actually transparent. The white results from light being refracted through the clear hair strands. The bears can also be yellowish in the summer due to oxidation, or may even appear brown or gray, depending on the season and light conditions. Polar bear skin is black, so it absorbs the heat from the sun to keep the animal warm. Polar bears are found throughout the Arctic and Alaska, Canada, Greenland, Norway, and Russia. In Canada, they may inhabit ice-covered regions from the Yukon and the Beaufort Sea in the west to Newfoundland and Labrador in the east. Two-thirds of the global population of polar bears are found in Canada. The world's southernmost population of polar bears occurs along the coast of James Bay in Ontario. These bears typically occupy the coastal regions of the Arctic Ocean and the channels between its many islands and archipelagos. Their habitat changes according to the season. For example, in places where sea ice melts in mid or late summer, all polar bears move to the shore for two to four months. During this time, they rely on fat stores for survival. Once autumn arrives, they go back to the sea ice. Polar bears depend heavily on sea ice using it for hunting, traveling, and mating. Unlike other bear species, polar bears are almost exclusively meat-eaters. They mainly eat ring seals, but may also eat bearded seals. Polar bears hunt seals by waiting for them to come to the surface of sea ice to breathe. When the seal nears the surface, the polar bear will bite or grab the seal and pull it onto land to feed. They also eat walruses and whale carcasses. Polar bears will search out bird eggs and other food sources, but none of these are abundant enough to sustain the large body mass and dense populations of bears. Polar bears tend to live solitary lives, except when mating when a female raising her cubs forms a family group, or when many bears are attracted to a food source like a beached whale. Young polar bears spending the summer ashore on the Hudson Bay coast will frequently play with each other, most commonly with their siblings. Polar bears near Churchill on the coast of Hudson Bay are even known to play with chained sled dogs without killing them, which they could easily do. Unlike other bears, polar bears do not hibernate in the winter. They continue to hunt until weather is extremely cold. Then they may seek shelter in a snow den. 
Since the polar bear is an enormous and ferocious predator, there are no animals that prey on them in their surrounding environment. They tend to have the most trouble with other polar bears, and females will protect their cubs fiercely from males that may be trying to harm them. Humans, however, are by far the biggest threat to the dwindling polar bear population numbers, as they have greedily hunted them from their arrival in the Arctic Ocean in the 1600s. Until the mid-1970s, when international hunting bans fell into place, along with the receding ice fields that are crucial to the survival of the polar bear, caused by climate change, they are also heavily affected by drilling for oil and gas, increasing shipping activity, and rising levels of industrial chemicals that pollute the water. The polar bear has a relatively slow rate of reproduction, which means that populations are not only shrinking rapidly, but are not growing quickly enough to sustain themselves. Some experts claim that the polar bear could be extinct from the wild in the next 30 years. The loss of polar bears at the hands of melting sea ice has led some to suggest relocating these beloved animals to Antarctica. The amount of sea ice is shrinking in Antarctica too, but nowhere near as rapidly as in the Arctic. If polar bears are given sturdy ground, might they learn to survive? Often described as a continent of superlatives, Antarctica is not only the world's southmost continent, it is also the world's highest, driest, windiest, coldest, and iciest continent. Antarctica is about 5.5 million square miles, or 14.2 million square kilometers in size, and thick ice covers about 98% of the land. On average, it is 44 degrees Fahrenheit, or 6.67 degrees Celsius colder in Antarctica than it is in the North Pole. The temperature difference would not affect an adult polar bear much, but would make it more difficult for a cub to reach adulthood. Thus, in the end, there would be less breeding partners, fewer offspring, and less chance of the species to survive. While it's true that the Antarctic has an appropriate climate for polar bears and food for them to eat, relocating the bear south is far from foolproof. For one, Antarctica is largely lacking in land predators similar to the polar bear. Without these types of predators, penguins and seals have evolved to be rather confident when hanging out above the water. In fact, when the first people arrived in Antarctica, they noted how the penguins' fearless curiosity made them a remarkably easy food source for shipwrecked explorers. Polar bears in Antarctica would be considered an invasive species. They would devastate penguin populations, as penguins are easily caught, therefore eliminating a long-term food source. Also, the migration patterns of many Antarctica animals would deny polar bears of a year-round food source. It is unlikely that all habitat and nutritional needs for polar bears would be met through all seasons. Another major problem could be the potential pathogens of the disease, which could either be introduced from the Arctic by the bears, or be present in Antarctica and threaten the bears. So the food source of the bears could die off from disease, or the polar bears themselves could die off from disease. The darkest possible scenario for this hypothetical move would be for polar bears to destroy all species they could feed on and then become extinct due to lack of food. Climate change will still affect them. A reason people are even thinking of moving the polar bears to Antarctica to save them is because of their declining population owing to sea ice melting. However, the Antarctic is facing the same problem as well. The Antarctic was losing 40 billion tons of ice per year from 1979 to 1990. The numbers have gone up exponentially. The region lost 252 billion tons of ice every year during 2009 to 2018. This is a sign that the time isn't far when animals living entirely dependent upon the Antarctic environment will face the same problems as polar bears. There are also significant logistical barriers to moving polar bears to Antarctica, since the continent is not under control of a single country. Instead, Antarctica is managed under a treaty ratified by 54 countries. Under this agreement, the introduction of polar bears to Antarctica would require the unanimous support of all member states. Given how challenging it has been to add marine protection areas to Antarctica, it's unlikely a controversial plan to introduce polar bears to the continent would ever achieve the required unanimous approval.
Now that you've heard our opinion, we want to know yours. What do you think would happen if polar bears were relocated to Antarctica? We're waiting for your answers in the comments. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.